The laptop is fully charged and I've already copied all the necessary and important files into an external hard drive. Now it's ready to install the operating system. Uh, I'm gonna jump onto my other laptop and download the Ubuntu setup and create a bootable USB drive so I can plug it in and install the Ubuntu setup. So let's go. So in order to download the Ubuntu setup, we're gonna go to Google, open your favorite browser, Google, and then search for Ubuntu download. It's gonna be the first link, click on it, and then we're gonna install or download the latest version of it would be open to 24042 LTS or long-term support. And then you can click on this button here, the download, I've already uh, clicked on it and it's downloading right now. Now we need to download another tool called Rufus in order to enable us to create a bootable uh, USB drive. Create, search for Rufus on Google and then click on the first link. As you can see here, I do have the Ubuntu and the Rufus setup. Now I think we can open the Rufus once the Rufus is open. We're gonna choose the USB. I do have it right here. And then we're gonna choose disk ISO. Uh, for the boot selection, we're gonna choose the disk or ISO image. And then we're gonna go select the file. Uh, we're gonna choose the Ubuntu setup that we just downloaded. Okay. So it's already the boot selection is the Ubuntu. Now the per persistent partition, I'm gonna leave those options all uh, in default. And then we're gonna click start. So now we have to wait for this to be 100% complete. One eternity later. So now it's completely done. So I do have the USB drive right here. I'm gonna just plug it onto this laptop and then I'm gonna turn this on and press the F9 for this PC to get the boot uh, to the boot menu. Okay, now we do have the USB hard drive or UMI, USB disk. I'm gonna choose this one click enter. Now we have to wait. Uh, I'm going to try or install the Ubuntu. So we have successfully installed the host operating system for our SOC lab. In the next video, we're gonna download and install the VMware Workstation Pro on this laptop to create the virtual environment. So see you in the next video.